Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Sparkle English where I teach you how to improve your level of English. This is a new video in my English Writing Essentials series. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the listing comma or how to use commas in a series. There are several different rules that you need to know and I'm going to teach you them one at a time. Before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to Sparkle English for more videos on how to improve your English grammar, writing, and speaking skills. Let's get started. So we use a comma to split the items in a list of three or more items. This is called a listing comma. Let's look at some examples. I like coffee, comma, tea, comma, and hot chocolate. Now, this comma after T and before the conjunction and is called the Oxford comma, and technically, depending on the style guide you use, it is optional. In Canada and the US, we use this comma here, but it's very common in the UK that they don't use this comma. There are many reasons why you should use the Oxford comma, and I recommend you watch my video on the Oxford comma, which you can see in the description below this video, but I will be using the Oxford comma in all of my examples. The second example, would you like cake, comma, pie, comma, or fruit? So in all of these examples, we use a comma after each item in the list because it's a list of three or more items. Listing commas can be replaced by and or or. So for example, I like coffee and tea and hot chocolate. Instead of saying and twice, we use a comma, which essentially replaces the and. Would you like cake or pie or fruit? Instead of using or twice, we use a comma. We use commas to separate a series of words, such as nouns, adjectives, or verbs in a sentence. Example, we need balloons, comma, cupcakes, comma, and games for the birthday party. This is a series of nouns. Her boyfriend is handsome, comma, kind, comma, and patient. In this, we have a series of adjectives. The puppy loves to eat, comma, run, comma, and play. And here we have a series of verbs. All of these are separated by commas after each word before the final conjunction. We can also use a comma to separate a series of phrases in a sentence. For example, the boy yelled loudly, comma, ran across the street, comma, and climbed the tree to rescue his cat. Here we have three different phrases that we are separating with commas. I have to go to university, comma, write an essay, comma, and babysit my sister this evening. Again, we have a series of phrases that we are separating with the listing comma. You can also combine three or more complete sentences with listing commas plus and or or. For example, I studied English literature, comma, John studied dramatic arts, comma, and Thor studied carpentry. All of these are three complete sentences. I studied English literature is a complete sentence, but we can combine these three sentences with listing commas plus the conjunction and or or. Now, if this said, I studied English literature, John studied dramatic arts, period, and ended there, that would be incorrect. That would be a comma splice. You would have to put a period here and make this two different sentences or add a semicolon. However, when you have three or more complete sentences 
plus a conjunction like and or or, we can use listing commas. The next example, I live in Spain, comma, my brother lives in the United States, comma, and my sister lives in Canada, period. Again, we have three complete sentences that we are combining with listing commas plus the conjunction and. We can also use commas to separate multiple adjectives that describe the same noun when the word and can be placed between them. For example, she is a clever, comma, ambitious woman. Here we have two different adjectives that describe the same noun. She is a clever, ambitious woman. We can replace the comma with and. She is a clever and ambitious woman. But to make this shorter, we can just add a comma. She is a clever, ambitious woman. Another example, we had a long, comma, difficult week. Again, we can use a listing comma because both of these adjectives describe the same noun. Okay, so now we're going to do a quiz, an eight question quiz on the listing comma. You have to correct the following sentences. Number one, should we buy crackers, chips, or cookies? Number two, my cat loves sleeping on the sofa, sitting in the sun, and playing with toys. Number three, I speak Spanish, Celine speaks French, and Alfredo speaks Italian. Number four, we had an exciting fun day at the amusement park. Number five, mom needs to buy flour, butter, sugar, and eggs to make the cake for the party. Number six, shall we go to the cinema or the beach? Number seven, Jill wants to buy a new camera. Lee wants to get a computer. And finally, number eight, the girls spent their vacation swimming in the sea, dancing under the stars, and chatting to boys at the local pub. Okay, now let's add some listing commas to these sentences. Number one, should we buy crackers, comma, chips, comma, or cookies? We have a list of three different nouns, so we need to add commas after the first two. Number two, my cat loves sleeping on the sofa, comma, sitting in the sun, comma, and playing with toys. Here we have three different phrases, and so we separate them with the listing comma. Number three, I speak Spanish, comma, Celine speaks French, comma, and Alfredo speaks Italian. Here we have three different sentences that we can combine with the listing comma because we have the conjunction and. Number four, we had an exciting, comma, fun day at the amusement park. Here we have two different adjectives, exciting and fun, that both are describing the noun day. And because we can replace the comma with and, we had an exciting and fun day at the amusement park, we put a comma between these two adjectives. Number five, mom needs to buy flour, comma, butter, comma, sugar, comma, and eggs to make the cake for the party. Again, we have a list of four different items, so we'll separate them with commas. Number six, shall we go to the cinema or the beach? This does not need any corrections. We do not have a list of more than three items. We just have cinema and beach, so we don't need to add any commas. If we had, shall we go to the cinema, the restaurant, or the beach, then we would separate because we have a list of more than three. But in this scenario, we only have two. So we leave this alone as it is. Number seven is incorrect, but how do we correct this? Jill wants to buy a new camera, comma, Lee wants to get a computer. This is a comma splice, and a comma splice is an error. You can remember that I said we can use listing commas to combine sentences 
three or more sentences with a conjunction, but this is only two sentences and there is no conjunction. We can fix this by turning the comma into a period and making it two separate sentences, or we can turn it into a semicolon, or you could say Jill wants to buy a new camera, comma, and Lee wants to get a computer, but you cannot leave the comma alone because that's a comma splice and it's incorrect. And finally, number eight, the girls spent their vacation swimming in the sea, comma, dancing under the stars, comma, and chatting to boys at the local pub. Again, we have a list of three different phrases, so we will separate them with listing commas. Okay, so let me know in the comment section how many you got correct out of eight. If you had any difficulties, I recommend you watch more of my English Writing Essentials series. I have many different videos on commas and how to use commas and more practice videos as well. So check the description below this video for more links to more videos like this one so you can continue to practice your punctuation skills. Thank you guys once again for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Sparkle English for more English lessons and I will see you in my next lesson.